Hi, how you doing? I'm James Milstead and I'm an instructor in a robotics and electronics program and uh, uh, right now this week we've been studying stepper motors and microprocessor control of those stepper motors and everything. Um, we're trying out a chip uh, made by Motorola called the MC3479. It's a bipolar uh, stepper motor driver chip and it's pretty easy to set up. Um, the schematics up there on the board behind me and uh, well, I think I've got a picture of that on this on this um, um, a post, so you should be able to see that okay. Um, I've got it set up here and just itching to show it to you, so without further ado, we'll get on it. Here's an overall picture of what's going on. Um, up in the upper uh, right-hand corner, you'll see a, it's a microprocessor evaluation board made by Axiom. And that's what's uh, causing the stepper motor down at the bottom of the screen to uh, to actually do its thing. Um, the uh, board you see with all the LEDs flashing on it here, uh, the proto board uh, is just uh, it's just got the chip, the 3479 chip, uh, connected to it. And the LEDs all they are was to uh, just to let me know that everything was working right and doing what it should be doing. So. Um, We'll get into the details here. Okay, this is a shot of the uh, um, LEDs that I've got connected on the on the whole uh, evaluation board. By the way, this is a 68HC11 evaluation board, uh, and these are just tied to some outputs on the uh, from the processor itself. Uh, the movie doesn't really show the first LED, which is the one on the on the on the right. It uh, doesn't show it blinking the way it should be, but uh, it is, in fact, a constant blinking. And what that's used for, I'm tying that into the input, uh, one of the inputs of the, uh, of the uh, stepper motor driver chip. And uh, it, every time it blinks, it'll, the stepper motor driver will step. Second LED from the right is the uh, forward reverse or clockwise counterclockwise uh, chip. When you see it come on, it's going counterclockwise. When it goes off, it's going clockwise. The third LED, if you see that come on, that means we're going into half step mode. Um, the third from the right. Uh, right now, it's in full step mode and the LED is off. As soon as that LED comes back on, we'll be in half step mode. There it is. And the fourth LED is just an uh, a, uh, enable pin. And it's if the motor is enabled, that's going to be a low right there. So that's the fourth LED. The rest of them aren't used in this case. The two little push buttons you see over here on the um, right over here, they're used uh, to turn the thing on and off. Uh, we'll uh, we'll move on to the uh, proto board. Okay, this is the proto board, and you can see the uh, all the LEDs flash, and that's the first thing that catches your eye. But but this guy right here, this little chip, is what's doing all the work for us. Um, the inputs from the micro are coming up there, um, right up in here. Okay, so we've got uh, four inputs actually in a ground coming from the micro. They're tied down here to the appropriate pins on the chip, and you can take a look at the schematic and see how that's done. Um, this LED right here is actually blinking constantly in real life, but the film is uh, showing it kind of intermittent. And what that is, that's the phase A clock coming out. And, and every time that uh, you're in the phase A mode, uh, that LED will flash. Uh, these two LEDs here are pretty cool. They're, they're a, a bipolar LED. They've got actually two LEDs in them. You can see them flashing different colors. And um, again, that was just to show me what's going on. Uh, the outputs of the chip, they directly drive 350 milliamps worth of, uh, uh, worth of um, uh, current. And um, these, these are the actual outputs right in here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, those are going right in directly to the stepper motor here. You can see it moving. I think it's in half step right now. And uh, yes, it is. Looked at the LEDs over there. It's going clockwise, counterclockwise, and now it's going full step. Okay, you can see it goes a little bit faster when it's in full step because it's taking a 1.8 degree uh, step, 
and half step is taking 0.9 degrees uh, per step. So it's a 200 step per revolution motor unless you're in a half step then it takes 400 steps to get all the way around. So that's uh, that's kind of where we're at and um, it's been a fun little project. See if I can focus this thing a little bit for you. There we go. And um, that should do it. If you'd like further information on this, um, leave a comment or, or email me and I'd be glad to talk to you about it. Um, have a smurfy day. See you later.